And if you take a look here, guys, you can see that they're making $3,500 to $55,000 per month with this method. That's absolutely insane. I just showed you some insane earnings. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make money with ChatGPT and AI video technology doing the exact same thing for completely free. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through everything you need to know step by step. And what I'm going to do is show you how to make these very simple AI animated videos. And you can see that this channel here has 1.3 million subscribers and they are making money every day with these videos. Let's jump into this tutorial and I'll show you exactly how you can make money with AI for free. Let's get started and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. All right guys, the first step to this method is you wanna go over to ChatGPT and create account. So either sign up or log in and we're gonna use this to create our story. Now, if you actually look at this channel here and there's other similar channels as well that you can check out, they have a lot of ideas basically around animals like 10 favorite animals, uh, American bison versus moose, white rhino versus hippopotamus. And you can go and check out these specific videos like I'll click on this one, for example, and you can see the type of stuff they're doing. It's like animations with words that have kind of over the top of it. Now we don't have to actually do the words, but we can do a voiceover and stuff like that. And that's what we're gonna use chat GPT to do. So we're gonna base ours around animals and I'm gonna put in this, please write me an educational video in a safari setting describing what a lion, tiger and monkey, that is supposed to say monkey, that is my bad, monkey um, are and the features they have. I've misspelled that as well. And then I take out the animated bit and the features they have. Now, I've actually already done this, but I'll let it do it again, just in case it gives me a better version. All right, so this is the version we have, narrator, and then we can uh, also notice that down below the N in brackets is what the narrator is. So we're gonna actually be using this to do our voiceover. The next step, you wanna go to a website called 11 Labs, and you can use this for free to create the voiceover that we need. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna copy this here. We're just gonna use this intro for now, but obviously you would do multiple for like different sections of the video. And we're gonna let this generate. We're gonna use Rachel's voice here, but there's different types of voices you could potentially use. And we're gonna see what this comes back with. All right, so that's actually very good. So it works very good, especially for a free software. Then what we need to do is we need to go ahead and create a background that's, we're not gonna obviously copy this, but is an animal theme. So similar to something like this. What we wanna do is we wanna go over to canva.com. And what I would recommend you do is put in YouTube template. The reason why is there's no reason um, for this, but it's just to get the size. So if you just want to get a random size, a good size that we can use, so this is um, 250. So this is a 2K image. We're going to go customize this template because if you don't know the image size you want to use, this is the best way to do it. So we have a 2K um, background here. So that's 2K right there that we can use. Then what you wanna do is you wanna go up to here and you can put in things like zoo animals and you're gonna get these backgrounds that you can use and you can just drag them onto here and we can actually make these animated. Now we're not gonna use this specific background because I actually already have one up that is perfect for this and this is the background here. Now I'm gonna delete the stuff I don't need. I don't need any of this text. I don't need any of this here. I actually don't need any of the animals right now because we're gonna add them back in later. What we do need to do is delete all of the animals and we just need a background for now. And what you wanna do is you wanna go share and you wanna download this background to your computer. And then we are gonna go ahead and use it in a, another area. Now keep in mind, I have downloaded this at 720p just because that is all you can do on the free version with Canva. And that is perfectly fine. You can roll with 720p, but if you want more resolution, you're gonna to have to get yourself an account. Now what we need to do is we need to go to a website called leapix.com and we can sign up to to an account here. So sign up to get your account here. Once you're signed in, go and upload the image we just downloaded. I'm gonna drag it onto here. And now we're gonna actually make that background completely animated. So as you can see, the trees are moving and we can go to animation style and we can kind of make things different. So we can go horizontally, we can go in a wide circle, we can go vertical up and down, we can go perspective, or we can do circle. Now I'm gonna go horizontal for this specific video. We can actually change the length of the animation as well. So we can make it longer, which is what I might actually do. We can do the amount of motion. We'll do a little bit less. And that's gonna be our video. Now this is just a tutorial. So you would go ahead and you would actually edit this, make it better and stuff like that. And you could dive into the advanced editor and do 
all sorts of stuff here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and download this. I'm gonna go export. All right, the next step I would recommend you do is just to choose a random video template in Canva, just so we have a video template here and just delete all the scenes because we're not gonna need the scenes from this specific video because this isn't the video that we're going to be using. The next step is you wanna go ahead to file and you wanna go ahead and import your um, animated video that we just created. Now you see that I've done that, so I'm gonna go ahead and drag this onto here and we're gonna actually expand this out a little bit and we now have a scene. Now you'll notice that it's only four seconds long. What we can do is we can actually duplicate that by copying and posting and we have now duplicated it one, two, three, four, five, six times. Now the next step is we wanna go over to elements and I'm gonna put in something like, remember we are going doing things based on lions, monkeys and something else, I think rhinos or something. Let's take the lion, for example. I'm gonna go into Canva here and I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna to go to elements and I'm gonna put in lion. And it's going to give us some lines that we can use. Now we're gonna go see all and we're gonna try and find some graphics. We're gonna need a like a little cute line, for example, but I want one that's kind of facing either left or right so we can get a, a great animation that we can use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this line right here and I'm gonna put this onto the page. Now what I wanna do here is I wanna actually drag it back a little bit and I wanna click on animate and then I wanna click create an animation and then I wanna drag the lion across the screen like this and this is gonna animate the lion coming into focus as you can see right here. That looks really good. What we can then do is we can go back to elements and we can add in other animals in the background, for example, like this, this zebra and we can make this a lot smaller and we can just add it so it looks like it's in the in the background there. And we can also add a little monkey if we wanted to, kind of in the tree. Now these are gonna be static, they're not gonna be moving, but our main focus is on this lion right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to ChatGPT and I'm gonna take this here, which is the first narration, which is the first narration about the lion. I'm gonna go back to 11 labs and I'm gonna paste it into here and I'm gonna go and generate. And then I'm gonna go and put that voiceover into our animated video. All you need to do once you've done that is click the little download button here. I'm gonna go back to Canva and I'm gonna drag this into our scene. All right, so let's just see how this goes. First up, we have the mighty lion. Lions are known as the kings of the jungle. So obviously I messed that up. I put some of those animals in the wrong place so it didn't really uh, look very good, but we can put this animal here, for example, and then the lion can come across. And then what you would do is you would repeat that process for every single animal. So you would obviously copy and paste this background and you would do it again on this. But for the next one, we will be doing something like a tiger as well. And so let's just quickly have a look at Canva and we put in tiger and you can see that we have these different types of tigers that we can use. Uh, we'll go to see all and we'll use graphics here. There's all of these different types of tigers that we can use. Cute tigers, tigers sitting down, and maybe we can put a wiggle on this tiger. So let's just take this one away. Let's go ahead and put this tiger here sitting on the ground. And we're gonna go and hit animate. And we're gonna just put like um, some sort of wiggle. So there you go, the tiger is gonna wiggle. And we could go and put our voiceover over that specific background. Now to fully edit out this video guys, you just wanna go ahead and do this for every different scene with every different animal from your creation that you've made with ChatGPT. Or if you wanted to, you can use something like OpenShot to fully edit the video and give you more options if you like. That is up to you. Now once you've done that and you've got your video ready, all you would do is you would go ahead and create your own YouTube channel similar to this and you would upload videos that are optimized for YouTube. Like for example, you'll see that these guys have these titles in here and they're gonna have stuff in the description and then they're gonna have stuff in the tags as well. So they have a description right here and then they have tags right here based on the video and that's how they go ahead and rank their videos on YouTube. And I'll leave a tutorial below on how I rank my videos on YouTube. So that's how you can make money with animated AI videos. I'll see you in the next video.